Hi scientists, here is the video uh, telling you about your paper change engineering project. So reminder, this is a two day project. So I'm gonna give you the overview and then each slide is gonna have important things. So we're gonna start with the keywords for each of our steps to the engineering design cycle. That's incredibly important, as well as then each step itself gets its own slide. They'll see, you'll see a little sound recording icon and I promise you that works this time because this is just a slideshow and not a Pear Deck. Okay, so um, as you can see on the picture on your introductory slide that this is a paper chain engineering design project. So your materials, you need a single sheet of paper, then you really don't need much else except if you want to think about how you want to connect the paper chains. So sometimes people would make paper chains and one chain, one loop for every day until a big event happened. And so that got us thinking, what is the longest paper chain you could make with a single sheet of paper? So that is your job. So think about that sentence that, or the question I just said, what is the longest paper chain you can make with a single sheet of paper? Because you're going to have to turn that question into your problem statement. So there are lots of ways you could do this. You could choose to take this and cut strips from it this way. You could cut strips from it this way. You could make your strips wide. You could make them narrow. You could choose to cut the strips or you could choose to rip the strips. It's up to you if you don't have um, scissors or if you do or not. So <clears throat> let's say I decided to cut them this way. I'm going to show you a little bit real fast so that you kind of get how this works. I'm going to rip them because that's what I think. I'm going to make them about five spaces wide. Um, you will eventually need something you can use to measure how long your paper chain is. Um, hopefully that's like a tape measure or a ruler if you have one. If you don't have something like that, you might have to get creative with your units. Um, my kids have had different measuring things they've had to do in distance learning and it's like, oh, the rug is 16 spoons long and they took a spoon and went end over end with it. Okay, so I have strips now that are around five spaces thick. So now you need to figure out how are you going to loop them. You have lots of ways. You could have different types of glue. If you have different types of glue, you could choose different kinds of tape. Maybe you even have duct tape or electrical tape. If you really wanted to and you didn't have any of these things available to you, you could go with a fold where you cut a little slit down one side like that, you cut a slit down the other side, <clears throat> and then you kind of crisscross them together to create this paper chain that stays like that, okay? So this is a single loop. Then you take your next one, you go through it, and you again, let's say that you did not have glue or scissors or tape, I made two flaps and I kind of connect them together again so they're connected like that. Here is now two loops. And so you continue that until you are done with all of your loops, all of your strips of paper. Remember, you can only do this with a single sheet of paper. So I wouldn't go all haphazard like I did and just start ripping. Think about how wide are your strips going to be. Are you going to go the short way like I did, or are you going to go the long way, knowing that your task is to make a paper chain that is the longest it can possibly get? And I think it's going to be really cool to figure out what you guys come up with. I'm trying to make my paper chain here as quickly as I can. Maybe I'll use... So I started with folds to keep my paper chain which means that I have to end with folds as well. So you can't switch in mid-design, right? We know that from our boats. However you design it, that's how you have to build it, even if as you're building it, you're like, oh, dang it, that's not really the best way, and I can see that now that I'm making it. You gotta keep going. So I have my paper chain with one, two, three, four, five, six loops. So maybe that wasn't the best, because I wanna get this as long as possible, and this is not terribly long. So this is eventually what you are going to be making on day two. Day one is all prep for this. Day two is the building and the testing and the redesign. So remember to click the little speaker guy for help and tips and tricks. And if you have questions, please email your science teacher. Have fun, scientists. I'm really excited to see what you come up with.